Hey you guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of the 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro Bluetooth controller for Android, which is designed to work for Xbox. Over here, designed for Xbox for Android. Over here in the back, like you see there, it says the name of the controller. You have the angle, the adjustable positioning angle clip that you have right there. Of course, I already showed in my channel a whole bunch of controllers that will work with um, Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming Service. Um, and of course, this is the last one that I just received that actually got delayed. I was expecting it a little bit sooner, but it did got delayed. Um, I already used it a little bit, so I put it back in the box. That way you have an idea of what to expect when you receive this by the mail. Uh, normally, this has like a little plastic on top here, which is right there. Uh, I'm just going to put this to the side. Over here, you got the instruction manuals, which... Um, you should read, especially if you actually want to learn how to swap the buttons, because you can actually customize these buttons right here. For example, if you want to swap A for B, A for X over here, or A with B over here, there is ways to actually create profiles, and the instructions are actually here. Um, this right here is the profile button. So when you want to switch between profiles, you can do that here. You can also make these triggers analog or digital, analog or digital. And for those instructions, they're going to be right here. Like you see there, analog trigger to digital trigger. It's very, very easy. But of course, if you've never done it before, you better read the instructions. Um, it does come with a USB-C cable. That way you can actually charge it. I haven't used it yet. And here is the clip. I'm just going to put this to the side. And first of all, it's going to show you guys the controller itself. This is how it looks. It has the Xbox button right there, with logo. Looks really damn cool. It has these buttons, like the map and the settings button for the controller. Very similar to the normal controller. This, of course, the configuration is the same as the Xbox controller. Now, these two buttons are not typically on an xbox one controller these two buttons are typically on the nintendo switch and no it does not work with the nintendo switch i already did try it uh, unless there's something that i'm doing wrong but i did try it and it didn't work with the nintendo switch it didn't actually be recognized um here in the back you got the triggers ltrt you got RBLB, and here you got the pairing button right there with the USB charging port right there. And on the back, there's nothing more but some information of the controller. And that's it. So this controller, when you compare it to the Moga XP5X controller, it's very, very, very different. Honestly, in my opinion, this feels way more comfortable to play like any game on the uh, Game Pass. Uh, this game controller actually feels good. Uh, you know, I didn't have problems playing with this, uh, any game whatsoever. The problem is, is that it does feel uncomfortable. Uh, when you're playing, because the, the triggers, the buttons, everything's so close together that uh, depending on the size of your hands, my hands are not huge and they're not tiny, but you know, I felt a lot of times try having to set the controller in one position specifically to actually have a better use of these trigger buttons because I don't know. I don't know why they chose to to actually design this one for Xbox when the 8-bit um, though actually has all of the controllers. Like, for example, this one right here. Uh, I really like this one. This one is the SN Pro Plus. And you can see there is a little bit more conventional looking controller. It has a better proper triggers. They should have made this one the Xbox uh, design controller because it feels a lot better. And I love that controller uh, when uh, you connect it to the Nintendo Switch. It is super, super good. I'm going to put this right here. The clip goes on like that. Click it right there. And it snaps in like that. And of course, this right here, the adjustable clip for your phone is actually, you know, has like two different adjustable sections right here, uh, which is something that I didn't like about the original clip that came out with this. This right here is not the original clip that came with the controller, but I prefer this clip over this type of clip. Uh, this right here is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which is huge as hell. And the thing is, when you put this controller on this tiny controller, no, this gal cell phone on this tiny controller, 
you know um, if you put it at the right angle if you put you know adjust this to the right angle it, it can actually work as a stand <laughs> look at that it can actually work as a stand and it holds the phone but of course you have to actually put this at a proper angle because you put it a little bit back and it'll drop back so you put it a little bit forward and it'll drop forward with the cover or the case it actually is enough big that it can fit the case of course if you put it without the case it's going to be even better right but you know most of the times we're going to have a case for a phone like this so uh to turn it on you just press the button and it turns on right let's go and take this clip out for a second oh let's go and see with that oh look at that that actually stands up uh it's going to show you guys here's settings da, 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 and settings have you got a bluetooth uh there you go like you see there 8-bit though sn30 pro for android every time you turn this on it's actually going to be available it's going to connect to the controller and that's it that's how easy it actually pairs and to turn it off you just press and hold until this actually turns off and that's it you know very easy very normal if you use bluetooth controllers before you know the pairing and unpairing and turning it off and turning it on is basically the same process other than that my critical review for this controller would be that honestly it's a little bit uh, uncomfortable it's a little bit uncomfortable depending what type of game you're playing i did play like gears 5 and i didn't like how the triggers actually felt i didn't really like it and of course you have to when you're pressing and shooting uh, you have to have to press the LT and the R2, you know, the right trigger at the same time. And I don't know, for me, I didn't like how the, the resistant, the buttons feel when you're actually shooting. I didn't really like it. And of course, like I said, depending on, your, on the size of your hand, this might feel a little bit uncomfortable for you. Uh, great thing is that the clip actually adjusts to whatever angle you want you know but you know the controller actually looks pretty cool but like i said i really prefer if they would have made this one the xbox design controller it would have been way better the triggers for this are awesome everything here on this controller feels super super good so i don't get it why they went with this design i really don't get it because if you're going to play games on game pass you know most of the games are modern games you know there is some you know mobile like games here you know there is some mobile like games here that this controller would be perfect like night in the woods you know this controller would be perfect for that super lucky tell it's actually pretty good i did play a little bit with that game actually it's really good uh mortal kombat i played it's, mm, it's okay it's okay you know other than that you know i really don't like the 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 the, the design you know i really would have preferred a conventional design um even this controller even this the game this is the game sir x2 type c i actually prefer this style of the controller over this controller and the razor kishi the razor kishi was which also came designed for xbox one i also preferred that controller as well over this controller uh yes this one is cheaper this one is around 45 dollars you know it is around 45 dollars which is cheaper and what i the only cool thing about this controller which i really like is the mobility the size of it that it actually fits in your pocket but i don't know you know i don't know i actually would have preferred to have a, a conventional controller other than that the clip design of the clip is really good i have no problems whatsoever with the design of the clip it actually feels, feels really really premium a lot better than the one that comes with the uh, moga controller actually definitely um and the design of it you know it, it looks pretty cool because you know seeing the lo xbox logo there with the button configuration actually looks pretty cool you know pretty unique very very rare and it also feels a little bit uncanny because when you have a huge phone like that right and you using a small controller like this it's like you have to balance the weight of your phone with the controller because the weight of the phone of this phone this is way this is like this weighs double what this weight <laughs> so you're basically balancing a huge heavy phone with this small tiny controller it feels very 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 uncanny so that's that's something that i didn't like about the controller and honestly 
you know for me if you're looking for a tiny controller that can fit in your pocket because this definitely fits in your pocket or anywhere um and it has a, a clip yeah i think this would be good uh, especially because it also works with any android game any android game that's uh, compatible with uh, game pads this is actually compatible and it might be work better for those games but you know for if you're going to use it for game pass and you're like very hardcore i wouldn't choose this one i would choose more the more more conventional controllers if you're looking to play like normal casual games on game pass and on android yeah i think this is good enough this is good enough but other than that guys thanks for watching this video i'll leave links in my descriptions for this controller just in case you're actually interested in it and you can get it from there but you know that's my opinions about this controller thanks for watching this video Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.